Good morning, everyone. So I have little Briar here, and I am going to get him ready for our trip this morning. So I'm actually going to put him in the car seat and just thought I would, <clears throat> I guess, record so I can hopefully get as much today as I possibly can. <laughs> Maybe just some pictures. But So here he is. He's so sweet. And I'm going to just put him here in his car seat. So I do have the newborn insert in this car seat for him. Let's see if I can. All right, so I think he's in. So there he's in his car seat. Um, I usually keep this blanket just like right here for him. Not like on him, um, but it's nice to have it. When he's in a stroller, I don't really have to cover this uh, because the stroller has a second um, cover that comes up, a sudden cover. But if I'm out, and well, actually, you know what? I In the car, I have one of those car seat covers that attaches to the handle and covers as well. But I don't know. I just like to have the blanket there just in case. So I'm going to give him a passy, his little Dumbo. And I've got his bag packed, and so we're going to be off in just a couple minutes. Hey everyone, we are back home, and as I suspected, I did not film anything when I was out. I even took like one or two pictures. I didn't do a lot of picture taking either. So I thought I would change Briar, but before I do, I just want to show you the very few things I picked up, like very few. Um, I don't know what it was today, but I just wasn't feeling anything that I saw. Uh, yeah, it just wasn't a good day. The stores didn't have any good things, to be perfectly honest. So I went and stopped at a store I've never been to before, which was called Tuesday Morning. And I picked up this swaddle blanket set um so there's a nice blue here and then this is the reason i bought it <laughs> with the little elephant and the mouse and the uh, blue balloons i thought it was just so cute they're holding their balloons and then there's some like little hearts all here too and it came with some clips which is really nice because i like to use these for toys like i'll put a zip tie through this um, rather than having to use those other hooks because these kind of grip a little bit better. So I bought this set at Tuesday mornings. And then, and those muslin blankets are, aren't the softest that I felt before, but they are very uh, gauze-like. So I'm thinking about washing them and seeing how they turn out, seeing if it helps at all. I don't know if my lighting here is that great. Let's see if this changes it at all. Oh well, I apologize, it's late. It's 11.30 here, so. Um, so I stopped off at Marshalls, it's a big Marshalls slash home, go home goods or home sense. I can never remember which one it is here in the US. 
but I stopped there in Encino and um, was very disappointed. So I didn't get anything there. Uh, I stopped at a few other places and again, didn't see anything. Even the Target that I really like, I say it's in Anaheim, but it's actually Garden Grove down by Disneyland. Um, I didn't get anything there either, so so disappointed. And then I went to TJ Maxx in Anaheim and I found just a couple things. So um, I picked up this. This is a little like a swaddle wrap, I guess, um, for a baby. I don't typically do swaddles. Like, you you will never see me swaddle him in a muslin blanket. I shouldn't say never. Chances are you'll, um, you won't see that. <laughs> you might. But I just loved how soft this was. And I thought, you know, even just like a light blanket, um, it just, I really liked it. So I picked that one up. And it's, um, it's from that Not Your Grandma's Blanket brand, which I think I got some stuff from Marshalls from this brand um, last Christmas. So Then I found this set for him. I mean, the socks are going to be probably too big, but I liked the hat with the pom-poms. And even the hat, I'm sure, is going to be too big because it's zero to six months, but... It was cute, and I thought, I thought, why not? And then the last thing I got at TJ Maxx are these hollow shoes for Emmy. And um, I saw them, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> they reminded me of her Auntie Jackie. So I was like, oh, I have to get these for Emmy. So just cute little shoes there. And these are size 2, 3 to 6 months, which they will fit her. I just eyeball them really for her. Sometimes she fits a zero to three. Never newborn. She's got bigger feet than that. And then after that, on our way home, I had to start off at Target because I forgot to pick some stuff up while we were grocery shopping. So I wanted to get that like little draft pellets that I use in the, the smelly sachets that I put in my drawers and packages and things. So I had to get some more of that because I was running out. So I did stop and get a few things here for Briar. Um, so the first thing I picked up is this three piece set from Just One You. Um, I've never bought these kind of sets before from them that I recall, but I really liked the colors in it. It's just white with um, some bit of minty green, maybe a little darker than mint and some gray triangles and it is that waffle thermal material and so it's just a shirt pants and a hat and I just thought it was really simple and I liked the colors so I grabbed that for uh, Briar this is newborn and then I saw this and I decided to get it it will be a bit long because it is a zero to three but as I'm experiencing it's very difficult to find newborn clothes, which frustrates me, unless you get them overseas. Don't ask me why. It's easier to find zero months in overseas, that, and they fit him, than newborn here. So, whatever. But this is extremely long now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh well. I have a lot of zero to three boy stuff in a tub so if it doesn't fit him it will just stay in there for a baby that I'm sure I will have in the future but I liked it it has like the non-slip dots on the bottom they feel even like non-slip and I just thought that was amusing since a zero to three month would not use that but I know these are also created in bigger sizes so it has gray feet and then it's um kind of like a a cream colored and it just has the alphabet all over you know like a g random g and x a w a k and um kind of like a dark charcoal colored with bees bert's bees bees on it so that is a sleeper and the last thing i picked up these would be probably more for emmy but if he can fit them which i really doubt because 
they could look kind of big. I bought these little booties from Cloud Island, zero to three months. And they are gray and they're so soft. There's no eyes, it's just like a fuzzy gray. And then there's little, little ears and then a knit cuff um, for the top of the booties. So I picked up those. And that was really it, which is really surprising. Especially for all the places I went, but I just was, like I said, not really feeling anything. Um, I think next time, once I save up my fun money again and have like a nice stockpile, I think I'm going to go to the malls that I just never go to. Um, so that would be the, I want to say the South Coast Plaza Mall and the Fashion Island Mall. Um, and just look for something different because every other mall that you go to, uh, they have usually like Baby Gap, Gymboree, Carter's, but I can get that all in Santa Clarita. <laughs> and quite frankly, I find that the stores in Santa Clarita are just a little bit nicer than the, the LA area suburbs, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, I will, uh, I'll have to save up for sure, but. It will be a nice, it'll be different because they do have different stores there. So I'm going to change Briar. Uh, I did pack some stuff to change him into while we were out, but I just didn't get the opportunity. It was, I felt so late, even though it really wasn't. But once we got out of the restaurant and dropped our friends off and then I fell asleep in the car ride home. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to change him into this, these pajamas that I packed. And this is how I always like pack. If you, if I ever do packing videos, um, I use the big Ziploc bags and I put the entire outfit in there, you know, hat, outfit, socks, shoes, pacifiers usually is in here. And then I always, I just reuse these bags over and over because it's just clothes in them. And then I keep like a little bag of the draft stuff in there. And if you're wondering what I do, like I can, I find, I buy uh, these organza bags at the Dollar Tree here and they have them in like cream, blue, pink, and I think green. So I just buy random whatever colors and then I put these like little drift pellets here. I think I have a bottle. Hold on one second and I'll find it. So this is what I buy, just these. I don't even know how to use them in a washing machine or a dryer. I've never actually used them for laundry, but they are like a laundry product. So I just put a little bit in these organza bags and I use these in my drawers for my baby clothes. I use these in the tubs in the garage for my baby clothes and it just keeps everything smelling nice. Usually when I send clothes out that um, I sell, I put those in the packages as well because, you know, the plastic mailers can sometimes leave, you know, not a wonderful smell, especially here in California because of the heat. So I always like to include those in it too. All right. So, and that's if like if anyone's scent sensitive or I worry about that, then I wouldn't put them in there. But I'm going to put him into this. And this is a Just One You sleeper. I just recently got it, so I'm sure it's in one of my hauls for him. All right, so I am going to put his clothes away as I take them off so that everything stays neat and organized. So I'll take this off. The weekend went so fast. That's one thing when you live like way out in the boonies kind of thing. We drive, you know, we have to drive like, I want to say 45 minutes to get to the grocery store that we go to. So when we do groceries, which is every week, even though it's only two of us, um, we go to Costco. So that's 45 minutes away. And then we'll stop at Walmart if, you know, there's like random things that we need there, which is not usually the case, but, and then we drive to the grocery store 
and then we go come home so by the time we get home you know it's like two or three in the afternoon if we do a longer day because we've got some other errands like you know if we have to go to the home depot or lowe's that adds time and we do it the same day as groceries because it's in the same town which is 45 minutes away and if we're super, super quick, we can make it home by maybe one o'clock. So that like takes a day just to do groceries and errands. And then today we went out to Orange County and so we're out there all day. So it's just, you know, I feel like I haven't even had my break really, just sitting at home kind of doing nothing. Um, and definitely didn't get any cleaning done. So yeah. Unless you like driving, I don't recommend living in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, and we like driving. Like, I live out here. Whoop. Out here. And we're always somewhere. We're in Fresno. We're in LA. You know, we go to Riverside, Ontario. Like, all of the places around here. And I say to Mauricio, I'm like, you know, oh, we're, we're just going to LA. And he's like, oh, no, we're going to Orange County. I'm like, it's the same difference. It's all one th big thing. <laughs> And he's like, oh, no, no, no. Some people just stay in their little area. And I'm like, really? Like, we're all over when we go. Um, yeah, we'll be all over. I'll go to Santa Monica, stop there, stop here, stop in Burbank. Like, we just, I don't know. I see it as, like, all one big town, and we just drive around and go places I want to go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I really rambled there. I'm sorry. Just going on... But yeah, I love, I don't mind driving at all. I grew up driving like my parents on Sunday would go in the, get in the car and we'd drive around the country or whatever and stop at interesting places. And, you know, we were driving to visit family and I've moved around so much. I think I've lived here the longest I've ever lived in one place. And in fact, I know I have outside of like once I became an adult and moved out of my house kind of thing and even growing up I had moved a few times but now so like to drive is just I don't know it's normal like when I move to a new place I drive around to get to know the place so I'm just that was my life as an adult just driving my poor my truck for this one the new one that we just got it's been across Canada and across the US a few times now so we do enjoy driving this is a little big on him and this was newborn I don't I, this bothers me so much <laughs> I know it's not the fault of the clothes it's just because it's big on him but when it like all goes whoop, like that I wish I could flatten that out. Get flat magnets or something in there. Oh well. It is what it is. Everyone's different, so clothes can't fit the same. And then I do have a hat for him. So let's try this one on. I'm not a big fan of these caps on him. I don't know why. Whatever, we'll just use that. It's kind of chilly in the house tonight, actually. Because the swamp cooler is still running. So I'm going to find a pacifier for him. I packed one, which was this. So he was just going to kind of sleep here with that. So there he is. Aw, he's sweet. Let's see. I picked up the smaller size bottles at the at our grocery store um, and then switched them out with my taller bottles that had these nipples. So now I have a tall bottle and a shorter, smaller bottle. So I think it like, just looks so sweet. So he's got his bottle and that's what I packed for um, my bag for him. So that was in there. 
And that's really it. So this wasn't as quick as I thought it would be because I was like, oh, I didn't buy anything. But I really, really completely rambled there um, and took up quite a bit of time. So <laughs> I really hope everyone had a great weekend. And um, thank you so much for watching.